For the less combat-oriented player, the allure of the Prospector is obvious. Fly out amongst the stars, break up some space rocks, and sell them for a pretty penny. But how does this mining ship stack up in-game at the moment? I'm Farrister, and in this video I try to answer that question by reviewing the currently flyable MISC Prospector. For those of you who've seen other ship review videos on this channel, the format will be familiar. This video is split into five sections, starting with a ship tour, assessing combat performance, reviewing handling and visibility, looking at the operating costs before finally summarising. As always, I've included timestamps in the video description in case you want to skip ahead. And if you're one of the three quarters of people watching who isn't yet subscribed to the channel, you might think about it, so you can be notified of future Star Citizen videos as they go live. We start our tour at the back of the Prospector, and behind a slightly difficult to access door is a deployable set of controls. In the current patch, these are purely for decoration and don't actually do anything. You get into the Prospector via the left or port side of the ship. The front there is a door with a ladder which deploys, which you climb up. This takes you into the living body of the Prospector. There's a bed which allows players to log in and out, as well as various pieces of component access. On the right or starboard side, there's a door which takes you into a shower toilet. And finally, at the front of the ship is the pilot's canopy. Whilst looking at combat performance is important to keep a consistent style of ship review, it's fairly obvious to point out that the MISC Prospector is not a combat ship. By default, the two size 1 mounts are fitted with XJ1 distortion repeaters, which actually feels like a sensible fit for this ship, able to disable small attackers. The capacitor offers a reasonable amount of charge to keep firing, although even with the industrial cooler fitted, the weapons will overheat quickly. The weapons are on gimbals to give a little flexibility in aiming. Defensively, the Prospector carries a single size 1 shield generator, which is quickly depleted. And whilst it's theoretically possible to use the mining laser for nefarious purposes, the reality is a little different, and so anybody hoping to use it in a combat capacity is probably optimistic. Altogether, the Prospector doesn't really fight well. In a scrape against a smaller ship, it'll do well enough to let you get away, but against any real opponent, you're better off trying to get out of there. The visibility in the Prospector is excellent. At the front is a big glass bubble, which gives a fantastic view of everything around, which is especially helpful when mining. Moreover, the heads-up display spans your entire field of view, which is fairly unique to the Prospector, and really helpful in all modes. It's a shame there's no option to turn it off altogether for those times when you just want to admire the view, but mostly it's a real positive to have. The Prospector, although fairly small, is still an industrial type ship, and handles accordingly. Don't get me wrong, it's still fairly nippy, but it's not quite as manoeuvrable as a dedicated combat fighter. You also have to be aware of the time it takes to speed up and slow down, as particularly the braking performance can leave you drifting somewhat. Pilots may want to be especially careful when trying to get their mining laser close to a prospect, as that drift continues even at the lowest speeds. For planet-side operations, the Prospector benefits from having VTOL engines, which, with a tap of your keybind, can rotate the whole engine nacelle and give a little bit more stability during the slower manoeuvres you might conduct when planet side. The stock quantum drive is <laughs> suitably terrible, and an upgrade to a burst or similar seems to give a happy medium between range and being able to get around fairly quickly, which is especially helpful when you have volatile cargo like Quantanium. 
As a small ship, the Prospector is very cheap to refuel and repair. You'd be hard pressed to spend much more than 100 Alpha UEC. But the Prospector will make you money. Mining is the obvious way, and refining high quality mined goods can net you very good profits. Quantanium mining with the Prospector, for example, is very popular. You can also drop off raw goods straight to the vendor at a refinery station, although you'll lose a lot of potential profit by doing so. And with internal space, you could theoretically use your prospects for other types of contracts, like box delivery, personal transport, or even low-end combat contracts, although it's really not designed for that. In terms of loadout changes, it's likely to be quite personal. For Mining Head, I really like to use the Helix, although many Quantanium Miners will use the Lancet. Likewise for consumables, I personally tend not to bother with them, but they are helpful if you're wanting more flexibility to crack more challenging rocks. And as discussed, I'd swap out the Quantum Drive for a burst. One suggestion I would make is to go into the menu settings and make sure you set Lock Ping Controls to Scanning Mode to No, That'll let you ping for rocks without having to go into the scanning mode, which is helpful in the Prospector. All in all, the Prospector opens up something different for you, a different route to making money in-game. Whether your approach is a min-max, quantanium-only kind of deal, or whether you're more happy to be more chilled out gathering what you find, this is a gameplay loop that's much more friendly for taking it easy, with a cup of coffee in hand, than some of the combat loops. And moreover, you can make decent sums of money doing it. The Prospector fits this niche well. It's fairly nimble, whilst also retaining the feel of industrial type ship. It's fairly homely, with a nice spacious canopy, and a bed and a little storage in the back. The storage capacity is modest, but that's not necessarily a disadvantage, as returning to port semi-regularly helps break up the game steps a bit. Which brings us to price. With an in-game price of 2 million Alpha UEC, for somebody who enjoys the mining gameplay loop, I actually would recommend it, as you'll end up making that back, and then some, over the lifetime of the ship. Moreover, the Prospector is usually rentable at the refinery stations, so you can actually try it before you buy it. At $155 pledge price, I'd be a little more cautious. That's not because the Prospector isn't a great entry-level mining ship, it really is, but that that price feels a little steep for getting into the game as a first ship. But do you agree? What do you think of the Prospector? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, as it helps me to know what you're finding most helpful. Otherwise, as always, thank you for watching.